here is my princess. We can sail the seven seas together with you serving each and every one of my pirate needs. Oh, my dead body. That can be arranged. So you're telling me that the prospect of marriage to me, the feared pirate Sheldon, does not excite you at all? Marrying you, Sheldon? Definitely does not excite me. Well, no matter, princess, because we shall be married. By sword point if necessary. Uh, I'm not afraid. For I will be rescued. Rescued? By who? By Caspian, of course, the pirate king. Oh, Caspian. Found it. My love. My prisoner. Now, princess, since I'm such a generous pirate, I'll grant you two options. Either we be married, or Caspian, your love, walks the plank. Well, Princess, might I remind you that that plank is over crocodile-infested waters. He'll never survive. Crocodile-infested waters. Do uh, any of you see any crocodiles out there? I didn't think so, so if there are, pass me here, we'll fight them off. Well, Princess, you should read National Geographic more often because crocodiles are indigenous to Casa Bonita and they're large ones with gnashing teeth the size of this blade. Well, I don't think you know this Caspian's big muscles, but he can fight them off. For you, Sheldon, there are some options you haven't considered. Well, uh, seeing as I made the two options, I'll repeat them for the bad listeners on stage. Either we be married, or you, sir, walk the plank, and that's final. Even you can make a man with his hands tied behind his back walk a plank. But what if that would not so? What if it weren't so? Well, it is so because you're tied with my best knot. Ten years ago, I decided to make an impenetrable knot. And ten years later, my knot has been perfected. As you can see by Cassian behind me. You see, my knot... Hey! Oh, my God. 